So we're approximately about halfway through harvest. We've um, we've done about two and a half thousand hectares of, of wheat so far. Yields this year are actually a little bit surprising. We had an exceptional summer here, but the tap turned off at the end of March, and I think most of our crops have grown on about a, a 55 to 65 millimetre rainfall. So, um, yeah, we're expecting a fairly ordinary crops, but they've made use of the subsoil moisture that we did have stored, and um, things are actually looking fairly good. My name is Greg. I've been harvesting here for 35 years. About 3.99 tonne to the hectare at the moment. That's what the wheat's averaging, which is pretty good. I think James would be fairly happy with that. For the year, it wasn't an overly wet year, but no, he's done a good job. Oh, it takes about 15 minutes maybe to get a box full. Three chaser bins going when they're not broken down. The stub axle snapped. I think it's probably a combination of probably old age and a little bit of fatigue and a bit of sharp turning. Chop it right out and they're going to weld a new one in so hopefully in a couple of hours we'll have it all back up and running. So yeah, sort of a little bit of downtime but we've managed to make use without it. So. Yeah, I'm Riley Clark. I'm sort of just a farm hand here. Um, yeah, live and work here. So we're just unloading the headers so they can keep going. We pretty much just they run up and back and forth and fill the bin for us and we just pick a speed and yeah, they keep going. That's a big relief for a lot of people. You know, sort of having those hard years and then coming in and you know being able to pull off a decent crop sort of thing and yeah, it definitely takes a lot of weight off a lot of people's shoulders. And um, yeah, it keeps the farmers going, keeps the transport industry going. Um, Jeff and Rosie and James took a chance on me when I was 18, give me a crack, and I've been here 20 years this Christmas. She always sort of be pretty busy, occasionally we get to have a 20 minute kick camp in the, in the um, sleeper while we're waiting for a load, but yeah, like we always sort of keep pretty busy doing something. Employment's been one of the issues. It's a big season in uh, western New South Wales right down, and along the border. There was a lot of contractors that sort of put the opinion up that why would I even worry about going to Queensland, it's just going to be too hard. Compared to the four years previously to this one, yeah this one is, is definitely a lot better than, than we've had. There was days there in those dust storms you just couldn't see anything and all I could think of was oh that's just dirt, dirt blowing everywhere, someone's losing topsoil. And, I think the biggest effect of, of a dry period is, it's probably on the mental state. It's, um, you just wake up in the morning and it's the same day, day in, day out. You, know, you don't see much, uh, there's not much positive in a dry period. It affects everyone on the farm from your partners to your employees, everyone. They all realise it's a dry period and, and things are a little tougher. It's very monotonous when it won't rain and it's just dry when you look outside the window and you know you're trying to lift each other's spirits and sort of keep it light uh, but you know we're both from farming families so we understand the highs and lows, the good times and the bad. It's almost having a little win when we you know get out into the paddock and it's going a lot better than we expected. I suppose a good harvest is like going to the TAB, putting a bet on and watching it come past the finishing post. The only thing is you haven't got the money in the bank account yet. Uh, all those months of hard work and, and effort start to finally pay off. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.